I just came across the Yumi London, which is a $69 phone, it has decent specs and it sparks a very good build quality. This is Linus, stay tuned for a full review. The device ships with all the usual stuff you would expect to come with any smartphone. The very first thing you are going to notice is that the device has a fantastic build quality for the phone this cheap. It uses a solid metal frame, tactile metal buttons and rounded edges that definitely help with the grip. The phone has a 5 inches 720p display, which may not support the highest resolution but it is sharp enough for the daily use. The capacitive buttons are not backlit, but we have a notification LED light that most of the cheap phones lack. One annoying thing is that the backplate is very hard to remove and I suggest you using a credit card to do that. Under the hood you can find two SIM card slots, micro SD card slot and a replaceable 2050mAh battery. The loudspeaker quality is just average as on most of the cheap phones. The Yumi London sports a quad-core MDK6580 chip, 1GB of RAM and 80GB of expandable storage. These are definitely not the flagship grade specs, but the phone is doing an ok job handling some 3D games like Asphalt 8 on the medium graphics. Well, there are quite a few skipped frames and a little bit of stutter, but you can still enjoy playing the game. The phone ships with the stock looking Android 6.0, which has a few added features like a bunch of different gesture and motion controls. Most of them are gimmicky to me, but the ones I usually use, they work fine. Sometimes it may take a bit longer to load an app or switch between different apps, but in general, the user interface performance is pretty good for a $69 phone. However, you may have a little bit of random stutter if you install a lot of apps, so keep that in mind. As you may have already guessed, the image quality is quite terrible. Well, you may get some usable shots for social media needs, but nothing more. Same can be said about the 2 megapixels front firing camera. I didn't have any connectivity issues with this phone except for the fact that GPS lock speeds could be a little bit faster. The 2050mAh battery does not sound impressive on paper and the performance of it is not so great. The phone may get you through the day only if you are a light user, I could get just over 3 hours of screen on time. Yumi London is yet another cheap phone from China but it has a very good build quality and it actually looks quite premium for just $69 US. The phone also rocks a pretty good display and Android 6.0 with some extra features out of the box. However, you have to know that you may have a little bit of stutter if you install a lot of apps on the phone. Also both cameras are quite terrible and the battery life is just average. All in all, Yumi London is a premium looking cheap Android phone that has quite a lot to offer but it has a few shortcomings that justify a low price of the device. It was Linus, thanks for watching and if you guys have any questions about this phone, please drop me a comment down below. Also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and follow TechLineHD on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you in the next video soon.